Hey everybody, today we are going to solve the flip equivalent binary trees problem on leak code. So for a binary tree we can find a flip operation where we choose a node and swap the left and right subtrees. A binary tree X is flip equivalent to a binary tree Y if and only if we can make X equal to Y after some flips. Write a function that determines if two trees are flip equivalent. Here's what it looks like. So, there, we're given these two trees. Here's root 1, root 2. Trees represented by root 1 and root 2. And this output's true because what we do on root 1 here, the first tree, we flip at, at uh, the node with value 1. So, we flip 3 and 2, these two subtrees. And then we flip it 3, so 3, his 6 and null get flipped. And then we flip it 5, so his 7 and 8 get flipped. And once those flips are done, this tree becomes this tree, so they are flip equivalent. So we can solve this just using recursion and one small helper function. So let's look at what the recursive structure looks like in this initial function. So we want to determine if two trees are flip equivalent. Well, let's start from the root and figure it out recursively. So, if both trees are null, then that's obviously true. They're the same tree. So, we'll just return true if they're both null. Now, if one of them is null and the other is not null, then we return false. Because if the two root values are, if one root is null and the other is not, we can't do any flips to transform to or from a null value. Down here, neither of the roots were given as null. Well, if the root 1's value is not equal to the root 2 value, then we return false as well. Think about the, over here for these two trees. Let's say here's value 1. Let's say this had value 4 or something. Well, no flips would turn this 1 into a 4 by flipping the left and right trees. So we'll just return false if the two root values are not the same. Now down here I check and see, do the two roots have the same children? And let's take a look at that helper function that I wrote. Same children just takes root 1 and root 2, and it just makes sure that their left children and right children are the same, okay? So you can just take a look at this code, it's pretty straightforward, but all it's doing is making sure that these two root values have the same left and right children, okay? So right here we check and see, do, does root 1 and root 2, do they have the same children? If they do not, then what must that mean? Then we have to flip the children on the left tree, on root 1. Okay, so in this example right here, we'll call same children from these two roots, and they will not have the same children. So this one has 2, 3 for left and right, this one has 3, 2 for left and right. Okay, so in that case what we'll do is we'll flip them for the left true. So for this initial call here, we'll flip and 3 will become its left, 2 will become its right. If they do have the same children, then we'll just leave them alone, okay, because it's fine there. And then once that's taken care of and they have the same left and right children, then we just return that flip equivalent of root 1 left, root 2 left, and flip equivalent root 1 right and root 2 right after they have the same children If once we've flipped if we need to. And that's all there is to it, so just break the problem down recursively and it becomes pretty simple. So just take a pause, let you look at the code if you need to.